11, you are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation, which is 9 to the power of x plus 9 to the power of x. This is equal to 120. So what is the value of x? Now let's provide a solution from here. So now we have that 9 to the power of x is common here. So we factor out 9 to the power of x. 9 to the power of x divided by 9 to the power of x, this is 1, plus... 9 to the power of x divided by 9 to the power of x, this is 1. Then this is equal to 120. So this is the same thing as 9 to the power of x multiplied by 1 plus 1, which is 2. This is equal to 120. So let's divide both signs by 2. So that now, here we have 9 to the power of x. This is equal to 120 divided by 2. And this is equal to 60. So we have here 60. To solve for x here, we introduce logarithm on both sides so that we have log 9 to the power of x. This is equal to log 60. Now this implies that log 9 to the power of x, this is in the form of log a to the power of n. This is equal to n log a. Applying this power rule property, then log 9 to the power of x becomes x log 9. This is equal to log 60. So let's divide both signs by log 9. Here we have log 9. So let's simplify log 9 and log 9 here so that we have x is equal to this is log 60 divided by log 9. Now, we can express 60, this is the same thing as, this is the same thing as 12 multiplied by 5. So here we have x is equal to log 12 multiplied by 5, everything here divided by log 9. Now we have that log 12 times 5, this is in the form of log a multiplied by b which we can express as rog a plus rog b applying this logarithm property now applying this logarithm property we have that x is equal to rog 12 divided by rog 9 then plus rog 5 divided by rog 9 now we can express again 12, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 3. So this means we have x is equal to log. This is 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 3. Everything here divided by log 9. 9 can be expressed as 3 to the power of 2. So we have log 3 to the power of 2, then plus log 5 divided by rog 3 to the power of 2. Now, rog 2 to the power of 2 times 3, this is in the form of rog a times b, which you can express as rog a plus rog b. So this implies that x here is equal to rog 2 to the power of 2, divided by rog 3 to the power of 2, then plus rog 3, divided by rog 3 to the power of 2 then plus rog 5 divided by rog 3 to the power of 2 the next step let's apply the power rule property here so that we have x is equal to rog 2 to the power of 2 this is 2 rog 2 divided by rog 3 to the power of 2 which is 2 rog 3 then plus rog 3 divided by 2 rog 3 then plus rog 5 divided by 2 rog 3 now in this case let's simplify rog 3 and rog 3 here and 2 and 2 here so that now we have x is equal to this is rog 2 divided by rog 3 then plus a half 
plus here we have half this is row 5 divided by row 3 now the next step from here rock 2 over rock 3 and rock 5 over rock 3 this is in the form of rock a over rock b which we can express as rock 8 base b so this implies that x is equal to half plus now we have rock 2 to base 3 then plus here we have a half this is rock 5 to base 3 so this is the value of x. This is the value of x. The next step is to verify if this value of x satisfies the equation as follows. Now let's verify that this value of x here satisfies the equation. Now if you recall, we have that 9 to the power of x plus 9 to the power of x. This is supposed to give us a value of 120 so since 9 to the power of x is common here we have 9 to the power of x into the parentheses this is 1 plus 1 this is supposed to give us a value of 120 so we have 9 to the power of x multiplied by 2 this is supposed to give us a value of 120 now let's substitute the value of x so that we have 9 to the power of a half plus this is rock 2 to base 3 then plus a half this is rock 5 to base 3 everything here multiplying by 2 this is supposed to give us a value of 120 now the next step from here we can express 9 this is the same thing as 3 to the power of 2 so let's substitute 3 to the power of 2 so that we have 3 to the power of 2 multiplying by x which is a half plus this is rock 2 to base 3 then plus a half this is rock 5 to base 3 then everything here multiplying by 2 this is supposed to give us a value of 120 so let's simplify here 2 and 2 simplifies so that we have 3 to the power of 1 plus now we have 2 times rock 2 to base 3 so this is 2 rock 2 to base 3 then plus now 2 and 2 here simplify so we have rock 5 to base 3 then everything here multiplying by 2 this should give us a value of 120 now we have that 3 to the power of 1 plus 2 2 is the power here so this is the same thing as 3 to the power of 1 plus rock 2 to the power of 2 to base 3 then plus this is rock 5 to base 3 everything here multiplying by 2 this should give us a value of 120 now the next step from here we have that 3 to the power of 1 plus rock 2 to the power of 2 to base 3 plus rock 5 to base 3 this is in the form of a to the power of n plus m which we can express as a to the power of n multiplying by a to the power of m applying this exponent property we have 3 to the power of 1 times 3 to the power of rho 2 to the power of 2 to base 3 multiplying by 3 to the power of rho 5 to base 3 this should give us a value of 120 now we have 3 multiplying by 3 to the power of rho 2 squared to base 3 and 3 to the power of rho 5 to base 3 this is in the form of a to the power of rho b to base a and this is equal to b now 3 to the power of rho 2 to the power of 2 to base 3 this is equal to 2 squared which is equal to 4 and we have that 3 to the power of rho 5 to base 3 this is the same thing as 5 so remember here we multiply everything by by 2 so we have 3 times 4 times 5 everything here multiplying by 2 this is supposed to give us a value of 120
Now, we have that 4 times 5, this is 20, 20 times 3, this is 60. So we have 2 multiplying by 60. This is supposed to give us a very of 120. So 60 times 2, this is 120, which is equal to 120. So this means that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this affirms that the value of x here, which is equal to a half plus rock 2 to base 3, plus a half rock 5 to base 3, satisfies the equation. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video.